Hello guys, welcome welcome to my video. I am Arif Rahman Hakim, a mathematics undergraduate student from State University of Surabaya, Indonesia. If you want to know more about me, you can always follow me on social media. Okay, without further ado, let's start the video. Many people may be wondering, what is the use of math? especially mathematical analysis and algebra. It seems like it has no effect on our daily lives, but in fact, it does have a powerful impact. In this particular opportunity, I would like to share with you one of the concepts in pure mathematics that has a really strong influence, which is second space. For those who are not familiar with second space, don't worry, by the end of this video, I believe you will have a broader insight about second space. Basically, sequence is a function that maps the set of all natural numbers into a certain set, while second space is a set or a collection consisting of sequence. But this time, the second space that I want to introduce to all of you is Cesaro's second space. Cesaro's second space is the set of all real sequences that satisfy the following conditions. This second space was introduced by a mathematician named Xu in 1970 and has been a great interest of many mathematicians up until now. Many researchers have studied its properties, transformation, and etc. regarding Cesaro second space. But the question is, what is the application of Cesaro second space that being proposed by me in this video? Well, in this particular video, I will share some idea regarding the application of Cesaro second space in Machine learning. Machine learning is one of the branch of artificial intelligence. Computers are trained in order that they can get some information by learning the behavior of the data and predict the result based on the previous data set. There are so many benefits that can be given by machine learning. One of which is it can be the tools for early detection of some disease. It's also advantageous for conservation and many other things. In machine learning itself, there are a lot more sub-brands, but this time I will discuss the supervised learning. Supervised learning is a process of computers to gain knowledge from the previous and present data with the help of labels. Imagine the computer is our child and we are the supervisor. We want the child to learn what an apple is by showing them the pictures of apples and the picture of not apples multiple times. When the picture of apples is shown, we tell them it's apples and also the same for not apples. After a while, we are going to test them with some pictures and see whether they can distinguish the picture of apples and not apples. And that is supervised learning. One of the algorithms that can be used in supervised learning is KNN, which is K nearest neighbor. In KNN algorithm, the assumption that being used is similar things are close to each other. Therefore, a distance measure has a powerful influence on this algorithm. Regularly, the Euclidean distance is being used in KNN algorithm, but many researchers have modified the KNN algorithm in order to find a more accurate model in each particular problem. For example, they use Minkowski distance, Chebyshev distance, and Manhattan distance. Since Cesaro second space has a strong connection with metric space, why don't we try to generate a distance measure by norm function of Cesaro second space for modified k nearest neighbor. So basically in machine learning, 
every data in the data set is represented as an array of n entries. In mathematics, we can say that this is an n tuple, which is the element of Rn, where n is any finite natural numbers. We can prove that there exists a transformation matrix that maps Rn into Chazaru's second space for every real number p satisfying p greater than 1. And we have the matrix A being described as follows. And we have the following result. And from this result, also, we can conclude that F data can be transformed such that each data in the data set can be an element of Jazaro Sergan space. In 2022, Hakim et al. have proved that Jazaro Sergan space is a banner space when equipped with this following norm function. And according to Krasics, in 1971, every banner space is a metric space. Therefore, we can generate a matrix function from norm function of Cesaro sequence space. We define the metric function that we generated from norm function of Cesaro sequence space as follows. We define the metric function that we generated from norm function of Cesaro sequence space as follows. And if we analyze our new metric function, it has more flexibility than Euclidean, Chebyshev, Manhattan, and Minkowski distance. Because in our metric function, the value of p can be any real numbers greater than 1. While in the distance that we mentioned beforehand, the value of p can only be an integer. So, our metric function can be adjusted and used to find the more suitable model for any particular problem. Since we have generated a new distance measure, why don't we try and give it a shot? Let's do some simulation. In this simulation, I use the Iris data set that consists of 150 data with four characteristics. Each of the data have been labeled as Iris Setosa iris versicolor or iris virginica and i use the ratio of 8 over 2 to divide the train set and the test set i choose 2 3 over 2 and 10 over 3 for the value of p and i choose 1 3 and 5 as the value of k and from the simulation we get a pretty good result we get a pretty high accuracy and from this result, it indicates that our new metric function could potentially be one of the alternative to get a good model with the modified KNN algorithm. I think that is all for now. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you like it and see you in the next one. Bye!